Yes. Is this a recording? Hello, my friends. Bayan here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to install a shower door. This is a bypass slide shower door. You can see here the picture. Nice and easy. A little bit heavy, but uh, let's open this guy up. See what we have. Looking good. Looks like that we have everything here. Bottom attack, drop track. This is the first one that we're gonna use, is the bottom track. We have the side mount, the one who goes on vertical. Two of them. We have a manual, which I'm gonna just throw it, but uh, there is manual to follow. All we have here is seven steps that you need to follow. But I myself I already installed a few of those guys, so I'm just gonna put it where it belongs. And we have the top wheels for the caster for the to slide the door. We have two boxes, so we have a set of four. We have these pieces that would go right on this track on that how to hold the screw that is laid on and we have the handles two hands one to each side one to the other side and this is a uh, very simple handles basic and we have uh, the glasses for the door okay since we have all this in here we put this aside I'm gonna measure inside here, that way I know the, what I need. The track come with uh, about 61, but this is, is less because the shower is uh, 60. And then we have the drywall, we have the tire, so it's a little bit less. Let's see what we have in here. Almost 58, we're gonna allow the, a little bit of space, I'm gonna cut it with 57 3 quarters. So we need a little bit of space to put the vertical track on the end of that one. Because we need to cut a piece of this one, before we go ahead and cut it, we need to remove this piece. You see that? You just uh, we back it up, just don't lose any screw. Let me find a good spot to cut this stuff. I'm just going to use the countertop over here. But this part is very important because you don't want to make any scratch or any damage. So you see use a exterior form that came with the box. We're just gonna put it there. We have almost 58, but I'm just gonna leave a little gap, more than one, about one eight, a little bit more. I'm just gonna mark it there. And then I can come up from this side. Because it's important for this to be square, and I just put the, my marker in there. The rest you guys know. And for the top track I would do the same thing, measure, and would cut it. I'm just going to use the rack saw, I could use a, a dig saw, or a grinder. But I'm just uh, going to use the, this saw today. Yeah, I just finished cut it off, looks a little bit rough, I'm just gonna smooth it out with the sand, no, it should be good. Next step, I need these two pieces, this is the, the side one, vertical track, I'm just gonna remove it with plastic. I'm just gonna put it here because I need to mark to cut some holes. Let's hope I left enough space for this too. So what I want in here, in this case here, let's say I allowed put set it up on about a half inch from the 
shower, you can put a little mark in there. That way I don't have to worry about it. The reason that I give uh, about half inch in there, I could put it flesh, but this once you cock it to the silicone, it would looks better if you leave a little bit of space in there. So next step, I have a, a laser, but if you have a, a level, we do it just to set up the track. I grab one, two. Let's say let's this one just go right there. You see how it fit right on top. And then I have my little mark in there. I can just put my laser. Uh, up on the inside here, show you good. Bring it to the laser line, if you guys can see right there. And now, all I do is a mark in here right on the center. Then I do three marks, right? And then I can use I move this guy, put this way, and then I do the same, the same step on this other side with this other track. I just flip the laser over, I go to the track, I put it on my little mark, then I set up my laser again, and then I do my mark. I just want to make sure if I cut big enough, so I have both track in. Let's check it. Now I remove everything, put everything aside. Next step would be to a hole with the drill. So this is a, a hammer drill with a concrete bit, which is uh, work very well. Okay, we're done with the drill. Now I'm just gonna clean the mess up. Just gonna use the vacuum and then a cloth. That kind of red, so if I use a, a damp cloth, just gonna make mess on the tongue. Well, I'm good in here. I'm just gonna use this to clean a little bit more, that way the silicone will hold good. Because the vacuum is still leave a little bit dust, once you use the dump cloth, it's just gonna be nice and smooth. It's a, a very simple process. Now I have this guy. I'm just gonna put some 100% silicone in there. And I'm just gonna put this guy, since I have my mark there, I know I'm just gonna put it right on my mark, I don't want to make too much mess. And now I'm just gonna get my clips for this piece, and this guy, I'm just gonna repair them. In my case here, I know I have a backing because I put the back myself here, so I'm not using this this guy's in here, but if you hang just on the drywall, it's a good idea to use one of those. So what I do here, I grab this guys, I just put my screw very much in there, let's put them all out, set up my screws, ready to go, let's say three on this side, three on that side, and here, I will do the same way. I'm just gonna put in the way I'm doing. I just put the silicone on the outside part because sometimes some water goes in, and if you keep on the outside, the water will come in. They just run inside the shower base. The manual for this uh, for this door doesn't uh, indicate to put uh, silicone here but I just put because I don't just don't want to come back with some headache with leaking on the job site if you see some spot that is you think is not enough just add a little bit more just to show you guys and I just gonna very much 
fit it right back there. You guys can take a look. I just put it there in a spot. Just gonna push down. I just try to align the hole not to make so much mess with the silicone. And then you have this thing there. I just put one. I put all this to hold in there, holding place. Next one is the same base, not in two case. Next one here, I'm just gonna push to my little mark in there, right there. Then I put the level. Again, just use the, the level again. Well, looks very good to me. Yeah, just to make sure this thing gonna be all sealed up, nice and good. Same way as on the other side, we just line up the screw, the screw hole. One, two, three pieces. You can remember that little piece that I removed, I'm just gonna put it back now. Just gonna slide it right underneath there and push it in. And <laughs> next step would be the top track. So I'm just gonna measure it. This one you can measure it tight, like a 58 and a quarter. This is what I'm gonna cut. But before I do that, you know, just, just the process. Before I do that, I'm just gonna clean this uh, over spilled coating here before it uh, dries. And I guess was uh, just a little bit overloaded behind that. And this is a fast dry coating. So later on, I just clean with some alcohol. Alcohol is good to remove it totally. This next step is the top track. All we do, we just we Take it and just slide it up there, not hit the place. So I cut it a little bit smaller than, uh, than the space that I have in here, that way it fit good and don't scratch the tire. So I just go with it like that, as close to the track as possible, that way I don't scratch the tire. You guys can see how it fit right there. And then I fit this other side the same way. And it's just about it. Now we're gonna work on the door, set up the door to put in here. I'm gonna fit in the inside door first, the one who is lying inside. That way it's a little bit easier and we keep a partner. So guys, we just remove this screw and then we have these pieces, depends how thick is your glass, and then if the one you use, you have different size in here. So how it goes, it goes right on the glass, one in, one on each side to protect the glass. And here we just put it on, it's gonna be this set. Sometimes a little bit hard, but you can see we have one piece of plastic in there, not one on the other side. And we have to make sure this is gonna fit on the hole. In this case, let me check. I just this guy gotta go down a little bit. Right in right on the mount and then we just put this screw from the other side nothing too crazy but we definitely have a little bit more space to work and then I just grab the drill Good to go. And now we're 
just put the handles, like you guys can see, come with a little rubber to protect the glass, like plastic. You be careful not to lose any of that. You guys can see what I have in there. One, two, three. Okay, let's keep this with the screw. And then all I'm gonna do, very simple, I'm just gonna put one in here. There you go, and then I put this other one this side. That way the glass is protected. And then I'm just gonna screw this guy on. I'm just gonna go with the hand a little bit. Since I have that one in there, I'm gonna screw the other one. There you go. So I have a, uh, I'm leaving one plastic sleeve on, with the screws and this piece on the center. So I put it and then the other plastic sleeve just go right there, like you guys can see. That way the glass is protected. And then pretty much I just gonna go as tight as I can with my hand. And then we should have a, a very small wrench that comes with the package. Little wrench like that. You're gonna see this uh, a hole right there. And then you use this to tighten up the battery. And another thing that you gotta know, you see the wheels are faced this way. The handle also face the same way as the wheels. Once you fit in, this is gonna slide on the right way on the inside. So guys, you know is the part that you gotta be careful with the glass because it's like kind of heavy. So I'm just gonna move in here. Just gonna step on the inside. And I'm just gonna, just for you guys to see, I just see, I'm gonna just gonna fit it right on that in there. At the same time I fit it in there, I'm fitting it here on the bottom, on the slot. No, like you guys can see in there. If you, I, if you guys look, the side here is a little bit out of level. I'm gonna show you guys how to adjust it. You see the bottom? The bottom is tight in there. And the top, it's a little bit too out. On the casting there I have three adjustments. Now just this one need to go up a little bit, that way the door goes down. Let me remove it. Door is removed. And then now I do. I'm gonna remove this cast from there. Since I need it to go down the top a little bit, I'm gonna move it one step up. See, I have three holes, I'm just gonna move it in there. Let's hope that it's uh, not gonna be too much. Then I do the same thing with this one. So guys, this was a little bit out of level, you could see the difference on the door. So I just, this side, that side I don't touch, just leave it. This side I just move one step up, that way the door would bring down and show level in here. Since we have just a three setting, sometimes you're not, not get it perfect the way you like, but it's what we have. And then we just put this bed back again. Right on the money. See, once you guys look in here, it's pretty much leveled the line. Before was quite a bit back. This is so uh, work great. This is about it, I'm gonna work on the other door. Yeah, this is, we're gonna do the other door. Gonna repeat the same process. 
I guess we don't need to show that on the video. Here when I am doing my cotton, silicone around, I just gonna go, I'm just gonna do a little bit in here. And then I'm gonna seal this gap. Just use my finger anyway. This bit is just cut a little bit bigger than it should. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Just for you guys to see. And I'm just gonna come do it in here on the bottom. Here I'm just gonna go a little bit up. This one here is important to seal it. Okay, so this one here I have sealed a portion on the bottom, the bottom track. And now I'm gonna do the inside. I don't recommend it, it's just to do... Most people they do all the other side, but sometimes the other side looks a little bit mess. So I'm just gonna do the inside in here. Oh, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run the silicone to seal it on this vertical piece on both sides. And the bottom I do nothing because I already have sealed in there. And this side, and if some water goes in there, the bottom is not, not sealed, allow the water to run inside the shower base. So I'm just gonna do this side in here. I do the other side and then I'm just gonna smooth it up that's it guys this is how we install a shower door a bypass shower door a sliding shower door you guys can see you just run Okay, we're just gonna do the other door, put it in here, and then I'll show you a little clip on the end. Yeah guys, this one is right on the mount, just put it up and this side is pretty much leveled, don't need to do anything, luck for me. And uh, sometimes the reason why it come out of the level, sometimes it's just the tile on the bottom is a little bit off, could be. And it's uh, about it, right on the mount, running smooth. And uh, another thing that I would not let you guys know, when you do the caulking, like every year you gotta check to see if there is an issue. Because once you do the silicone around the shower, shower door, anything like that, it's just not, it, it is not forever. You keep checking to see if there is an issue. Could be after one year, could be little things in there and need to be done. And thank you very much guys, if you have any question, let me know, and this is how you do it, it's like a manual, and any doubt, just let me know, I'm here to answer you guys, I love you, see you on the next one.